Welcome back everyone, it's FNUSA57 here. I'm back on Neverwinter on the Xbox One. And today I will be showing you how to get not only an achievement, but also fully explain the Star 1 Hunts of Omo. So just like I did for the Soshin Star River, this video is going to cover everything you need to know to get these pieces of gear, not necessarily every single piece of gear, but basically what you need to know about the Hunts of Omo. So what this is, is a expansion. It is the Mod 13 expansion to the normal Jungles of Cholt campaign. It is up at the top above Jungles of Cholt. In order to actually make the lures, you would have to go into the Monster Hunt Omu Rare Creatures. Um, that's up to you if you wanted to do that or not, or if you just want somebody else to make the lures for you. So there's a total of six rare pieces that you can get i'll show you the enemies the farming path and we'll try to do this as best and efficiently as possible i may have to make a little bit of a cut because quick shout out to my friends that actually did stay out of the instance for me to record this and those of you who did not stay out of the instance and dicked me over for the last six hours i hope you burn in the nine hells with that being said moving on so the first circle or the first group of enemies in the circle is going to be the one that you're looking for to drop the driftwood shield. That is going to be the enemy right here, this beast stalker. That is the rare one. Rare enemies are marked by a symbol over their head. They're very easy to tell what enemy is rare and what one isn't, and I conveniently did get a driftwood shield off of that. The normal version of that is this group right here so just pay attention this is the circle that i'm running and yes i am aggravated at the time of recording it any troll comments will simply be deleted because i've spent six hours trying to provide you this video and people are really annoying uh come inside here to the temple and you're going to have groups of yuntai these yuntai have a rare variant that is the mind whisperer I will try to get one to show you in case I can't. This is the item that it drops, the chipped Chris. If you're farming with a friend, which I recommend, one person goes up here to the front of the temple and starts to kill those group of Yunti or Yuntai, whatever you want to call them. Then you come down here, or the other person comes down here, kills that group. Now we're going to go for the spiders, which this is the enemy that spawns or can spawn the red tarantula the red tarantula is the one that you need that's the rare that actually gives you the venom red recluse venom um, and those of course are the little spiders now there's going to be some really annoying ones to get uh, luckily we have a mind whisperer right up here so i'm going to show you what the mind whisperer looks like it's pretty much a giant circle that we run, but it's not necessarily a circle. So here's the Mind Whisperer. All of the rare enemies, it is a single rare enemy. And he did not drop anything for me. You can continue. There's a pack of Yuntai there. There's two packs of spiders here, basically for a total of four packs of spiders behind this temple. Two on each side of the waterfall. The problem with the spiders is they don't really spawn rares too often because of a limited number of locations to actually fight them. There are several spawn points on the Undercity, but I do not go to the Undercity. It's just annoying. I would recommend that you switch to a low pop instance to farm this. And there's another group of Yuntai here that you're going to kill. If you are switching instances and you find that there is somebody in that instance, there's just a little bit of MMO etiquette, which unfortunately, here we go with another prime example of somebody who has been dicking me over for the last six hours, but there's a group of Yuntai here and there. The next part of the circle is going to include the bears, these bears right here. All right, sun bears, so you kill them, you kill that group of bears. If you get a rare from the bear, it looks like this one right here. That's the rare rotting sun bear. I'm having to speed through this so that the other guy in the instance doesn't kill the 
enemies and muck it up any more for me and for in turn you guys which is why like i said mmo etiquette if you see somebody in the instance chilling at a rare leave it alone or message them come down here kill those three sets of regular bears now we're going to skip forward to the mage breaker which can spawn from any of these thans by the way, the rare bears drop the plague paw. The mage hunter helm comes from the mage breaker. Um, and of course, the razor tyrannosaurus rex actually drops the razor tyrannosaurus rex spine. I don't know if I have one of those up or not. And these are two more of the mage breakers. I'm going to show you the full circle for these mage breakers slash thans he dropped a piece of lich lore uh i'll come back for that later that is the piece that you need for the actual uh lore quests so there's one right there one pack that can change right there plus an actual mage breaker we already have spawned in now by the way guys normally there are not this many rares up in an instance you may see one rare, you may see two rares at most in an instance. If you come into an instance and you see a crap ton of rares spawned in, and especially you see me there, yeah, don't be a dick. There's also this camp up here, which has two groups that you can kill that can actually turn into mage breakers. I've never seen that third group in the back turn into a mage breaker before. Mage Breakers are really annoying because they put up their shield and block. Even though there's a lot of spawns for them, they don't drop frequently. There's another group right here that can turn into a Mage Breaker. Which, yes, we are murdering every single rare that we've spawned in in the last six hours because people have been stealing them and just being general jerks. And this is why content creators need to get a private instance or the ability to host a private instance when recording. So Perfect World, if you're watching, go ahead and add that. Next part of the loop, there's a group of knights that normally spawns right here. That's a mage breaker. That, by the way, is a Razor Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's the one that drops the spine for you. So we're going to go ahead and kill this guy since he's right here. Now you need a Razor Tyrannosaurus Rex spine to go with every single one of the T1 hunt pieces. Two things to keep in mind when fighting this guy. Stay right underneath his feet. He cannot hit you if you are right underneath his feet. Also, he has insanely high damage resistance and that guy is still in the instance and he brought a friend now. I really sometimes hate other players, especially when you ask them very nicely for the purposes of recording to leave you alone, and they do not. It is, yeah, very, very, very uncool. Uh, so anyways, kill this guy. Now, every single person in your group or every single person that is attacking this particular enemy will get a Razor Tyrannosaurus Rex spine after this enemy is defeated. Unfortunately, I don't have inventory space to pick up mine, but that's what drops that. Now move on to the next part of the circle, which is up here. This group of undead. Then this group of undead. Then this group of undead. And the undead is the ones that can spawn the will-o'-wisp. However, I believe the other ding-dongs in here. Yep, they did. They killed everything except for this will-o'-wisp. This is the will-o'-wisp. We had three of them spawned in ready to go for the video, but yeah, ding-dongs. Um, and that Will-O-Wisp did not actually give me anything, unfortunately. But the item that he would normally drop, if you get lucky, is the Sealed Wisp. So that completes pretty much almost everything. Come up here, go ahead and kill that pack of undead and then proceed back down. Now the thing about this circle is it gives you all of the enemies. It's very efficient for farming pieces. If you're only farming a specific piece, you can separate the circle down into respective smaller circles for that particular item. Come back through here. If the bears are spawned, kill that pack of bears. 
that pack of bears if they're active the possible bee stalker that could spawn right there and then there's another spawn point for it right here and that basically completes the circle because you'll end up here where you can try and kill that group and you can try and kill this group so yes that is like oh a lot i barely breathed going through that now i can actually take a breath and i am going to go ahead and show you the next step so for this next step you're going to need to go back to the port or you're going to need to have the ability to make the lures yourself in this case well i'm going to have to trade the pieces because uh bunny is the one that thankfully can actually make the lures so we'll give her the chipped chris the paw uh, the mage breaker's helm the shield the venom the willow wisp or sealed wisp thingy the razor tyrannosaurus rex spine and the secondary shield that i got and now we're going to go back to the port and actually make those items the only thing that i was unable to show you so while bunny goes back to the port and makes the lures i'm going to check to see if there is a red tarantula up uh if there happens to be one up i'm going to show you what it looks like if not then well that's the only one that i won't be able to show you because yeah six hours worth of work and this is the best that i could do because of people however you cannot miss the red tarantula if you actually get one to spawn it's literally unmissable and yeah this ding dong is still over here killing my spiders i've asked him to leave the instance nicely four freaking times and he didn't so that is somebody that perfect world if you're watching ban him permanently ban him anyways yeah now go back to the port if anybody does want to know what the actual spider looks like, the red tarantula, simply remember when you go into Tomb of the Nine Gods, the first section of Tomb of the Nine Gods, if you fail the puzzle, it spawns a giant red tarantula. That's what the spider looks like. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show up here. And you can see the two different ones. When you go in, there's two different tabs. One of them is for the Soshin Star hunts. The other one is for the Omu hunts. You're going to look at what is required. So giant spider pheromones that requires the spider, the red recluse venom, and the T-Rex spine. Uh, then, of course, also you can get the T2 piece uh, if you have that unlocked. But I will cover that in a separate video. Then you have this one, which can give you the bloody giant's cloak. That is the plague changed bear paw that you need and of course the tier two piece Good day to you. this person over here is the one that you can make the cholton spirit ward from which you need the sealed wisp and of course the soul in the jar tier two piece this npc right here is the npc for the mage breaker's helm and of course then the tyrant lore we'll cover that in a separate video and lastly, this NPC right here is the one that you can get the Tyrannosaur tail meat from, which is the Driftwood Shield, and of course, the Tier 2 one. Well, actually, no, sorry, that's not the Tier 2 one. That's a Tier 1. He's the only one with two Tier 1 pieces. Don't ask me why, but that's the Chipped Chris uh, and the Razor Tyrannosaurus Rex spiny thingy. So once you either trade in your pieces or have somebody else that can make them for you, in this case, Evil Bunny is helping me out with that. So we have the Tyrannosaur Tail Meat, the Horn of the Ape, the Bloody Giant's Cloak, the Giant Spider Pheromones, and the Cholton Spirit Ward. So last one, Horn of the Eotyrannus. There is the six total Tier 1 lores. All six of them. So all those pieces that we collected combined with six of the Razor Tyrannosaurus Rex spines, that's what you get. And I think I have inventory space for it. Yeah, I do. Now, for those of you who are interested, I'm going to show you where the actual lore pieces go to summon them. 
and you're going to get a achievement off of this. Uh, let me find it real quick to show you, because unfortunately I have a few annoying achievements to go through, but this is the achievement that we'll also be getting. It's Vol's Guide to Monsters Volume 4, and it's complete all the Star 1 hunts in the Lost City of Omo. So we're going to get that achievement in addition to showing you where everything is. So what you want to do is go back into the Lost City of Omu. Ideally, bring a friend with you because a couple of these Star 1 bosses can be a little tricky, but if you're strong enough to actually farm the zone, you should be fine in farming them. Now, there are spawn points above ground and below ground, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the one closest to the campfire, and then I'm going to show you the below ground ones, and I will show you the last two. So, this is one of the really annoying ones sometimes just because you can get that pack and you can get that pack of raptors that stun you but yeah uh, this one if I remember correctly off the top of my head is the Tyrannosaurus uh, tail meat I do believe so we're just gonna go ahead and summon him actually no I was wrong on that one sorry I've only done a few of these hunts where I summoned them myself. That's the EO Tyrannus piece. And of course he spawns other little ones that give you partial paralysis. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. And then you kill him. And you stop getting stunned. That is the tier 2 piece that he can drop, which is much needed. The Musas, whatever the bloody hell that thing he is, Talon. That's his tier 2 piece that you need. And he also dropped a pair of boots, which I don't need, and a ring that I don't need either. Uh, the ring is kind of cool because it has movement speed on it, so it's a good farming ring if you want. But that's the extent of it. Now what I need to do is I am going to show you the spiders one. Let me just rearrange this because it's underground. The spiders is jitters, and he is underground. And then the Wisp one is underground as well. There was actually a total of three, but the Wisp one is the one that I remember underground. Jitters should be your easiest one to get to. Just kind of try and avoid the Razor Rex. And if I remember correctly, because the underground area is a bit confusing, it is down this hole if you can actually like get down the hole that is and this is the whole under city you can see it's a pretty big place underground actually so and there's going to be multiple other enemies there's actually spawn points for the red spider and everything i do believe down here so if somebody is farming in the instance above ground, you can always farm in the instance below ground. And then everybody gets their farm spot and nobody is hurt. It's okay to tap another person's rare if they're fighting it with an at will just to get a hit on it. It is not okay to steal it. Personally, I think people stealing rares should be banned from the game. And of course, there's another pack of spiders down there if you want. Clear out these two groups, and you will need to clear out all the groups because there's enough of them that they can they can kind of hurt. That's why I said bring a friend. This is Jitters, which is the spider pheromone. Pretty easy to know which one he is. Little tiny ass spider. Now, he can drop different rings, and he did drop the interesting helm, the Jitters Fangs. Uh, I don't know if Bunny needs that or not. She can have it if she wants it. I'll just pick it up, and I'll show you what it does then. And, of course, the ring there is just 
salvage. This piece is kind of cool. Uh, because when you use an encounter power, the next enemy that attacks you takes damage equal to 5% of your max health. So I'll be playing around with that a bit on my pally. Now, the easiest way to get out of here is simply to defeat yourself. And you'll spawn back at the campfire, where we'll go back above ground. There is a way to get from each summon point below ground but yeah it's really really annoying i'm gonna go to the next one that is underground which actually is up here might take me a second to get to it because this one i've only done like twice but you go to this underground city sometimes you have to kill that pack of monkeys too because they uh aggro on you and you can't get into the under city but you go right here and enter the Undercity. There's also treasure map locations in the Undercity for anybody who is doing their treasure maps. And there's spawn points, like I mentioned before, underground for all the different enemies. So here's a rare Beast Stalker. If you see a beast stalker, go ahead and kill it. Uh, I am going to try and make my way through this maze and find it. But he's kind of out of the way. He's down in with the water. They really did make the Undercity it. A bit on the confusing side and that's a gate you don't want to go through that gate so unfortunately I'm gonna to have to go the long way pretty sure yep yeah he's down here and there's another person running around in this instance so at least he killed the enemies for me and this is the spawn point uh, now as far as the lore goes it's not cutlass it's not Polaris I do believe this is the actual Tyrannosaur tail meat. This is the red fang one. Yep, red fang. See, I was almost 100% right. Kill him. And Earth Treaders is the boots that he drops, which is actually boots that I want to test out. So I'm going to pick them up. Uh, you'll see they unlock in the collections now these are bugged on pc but i'm going to test them they may be best in slot for support depending on how they work so we're going to test that again go ahead and do the i'm stuck defeat yourself you should have vip7 or if you're going to be lore farming at the very least make sure you have a divine injury kit because you'll gain a considerable number of injuries now we're going to go up here on the other side of the really, really, really annoying heroic encounter. And then I'll come back above ground and show you the last two lores that are above ground. Keep in mind, you can earn a additional 25 lost idols for doing these hunts each week. And they do not count towards the cap, like your weekly haul cap. This one can be a little bit difficult to get to just because of the number of enemies that you have to run past. There's a lot of undead that spawn up here, plus the lions. So what you want to do is you just kind of want to run forward of it. Make sure you lose aggro. And then go ahead and come back and jump down the hole. And you do have more spawn points for stuff down here. There's a ton of spawn points in the Undercity, guys. A ton of them. That's why I get so upset with people. There's like 40 instances right now. And I'm recording at 5.30 in the morning. So <laughs> there's plenty of instances for people to go farming. Uh, there'll be a couple groups of undead in here. 
possibly a, a will o wisp. I think there might be a will o wisp right here. Yep, actually, there is a will o wisp right here. So we'll go ahead and kill that and just thin out the undead that are here so they do not aggro on you while you are in the process of actually fighting the summoned hunt. Check to see if you get anything. I got nothing. And now this is the sealed wisp one, which is this Cholton spirit ward. Kind of looks like a wand. And that summons this little ghost person. For some reason, she has a lot of health. Not entirely sure why, but she does. And that's the chest plate that you can get. I just want that for collections. Not interested in the ring. The only reason why I want this chest plate, it's pretty bad, but it looks pretty cool. So yeah, that's, that's the thing about that one. Now for the last two lures, go ahead and defeat yourself again. If you're in the underground, pretty much any time you're in the underground, defeat yourself. It's the easiest way to get back to a door to exit the underground. The next two lores are going to be in the lower section. And remember that for some reason when you actually exit the undercity or the underground area, it always takes a few seconds before you can summon your mount. It's really annoying, but yeah, it's a thing. If you do see a rare, kill it. Obviously, if it's yours, kill it. If it's someone else's, try not to. That's the biggest piece of information. If anyone takes away any one thing from this video, it is do not snipe other people's lores. Try and ignore the razor and ignore the sun bears because there's not much of a point. This is the bloody giant's cloak. This guy drops a really nice chest plate. Hopefully I can uh, get the chest plate. That's the goal right now. Oh, that was possibly overkill. It was a soul sight crystal. And there's my chest plate. Hell yeah. Five lures to get it. Don't want the ring. I'll get the ring later for my collections. You do get some refinement points for doing these, just so you know. Uh, this chest plate, the reason why people like it is because of the fact that it increases your melee powers damage by 3%. It's uh, a little buggy though, so going to have to test that later. And lastly, the final lore summon location, which is Cutlass. That's the one that you get from the Yoon T or Yoon Tai, however you want to pronounce that, is back around the temple down here. You will need to kill two groups of enemies to prepare for summoning him. And we've only gotten one tier two piece, which makes me a little salty. Because this is going to be, after I summon this lord, it'll be my 30th hunt completed. And uh, yeah, only one tier two piece. That's the hunt location. Bear with me for one second. I'm just going to check to see if there's a red tarantula. And there is not a red tarantula. I was hoping to show you every one of the rares, but I can't. Literally, you can't miss the red tarantula, though. Giant red spider. Practically glowing red. Can't miss it. So we're going to go ahead and summon Cutlass. Once I defeat him, you should see the achievement pop for actually completing each one and you'll get some lores pieces right there there's your lore there's your in-game achievement there is your actual achievement vol's guide to monsters volume four which we're just gonna share in the club because yeah finally got that rare diamond achievement uh, he dropped a pair of boots, which I'm not sure what they actually do. Uh, I don't think they're the ones that I want. 
If you want to check any of the gear before picking it up, go to your collections page and you can look at it. Boots of the Deformed are basically crap. They're useless for every class as far as I can see. And the Ring of the Spell Flinger is pretty much useless for every class as well. So they're basically salvage. I will only eventually pick them up for the collections. That's it. He unfortunately did not drop the tier two piece. And that is basically everything that you need to know for the Lost City of Omu hunts. Uh, there are extra enemies, that pack of orange looking raptors that spawns here, the packs of these Dio whatever the heck thingies they are, and the gorillas that you see around the map, those do not have a rare variant. So there's pretty much no point in killing those enemies unless you absolutely have to. Uh, even though one of the enemies is like silver back and everything, these guys right here, they're scattered throughout the map. There's no point in killing them. And if you want the Razor Tyrannosaurus spines, you need to fight the Razor Tyrannosaurus Rexes. The regular Razor Tyrannosaurus does not drop them for you. And that's it. That completes everything. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, by all means, leave a comment. I will do my best to answer them for you. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, troll comments will be deleted. Hopefully, if you enjoyed the video and it was helpful, make sure you leave a like on it and share the video with your friends. That greatly helps out with the searchability of videos on YouTube. I also live stream on Twitch. If you want to stop in and say hi, I will leave all my social media links and everything in the description of the video. So, until next time, remember to subscribe for more content and stay frosty.